cloud cover. It's dry out there and it's dry across the state. 57 degrees. The winds northeast at 10, humidity 50. 9% your planner. We hang on to those 50s right through 10 p.m. Again, general cloud cover, but at least for the state, it is dry. It's severe weather awareness week. It's family preparedness. Be weather ready. In other words, know the forecast. Like right now, we're focusing a little bit on Saturday, so you know that in advance. Be informed. Get the warning. In other words, uh, we have crawls in the bottom of the screen. You got no weather radio. You can get an app on your phone to get that warning. Have a plan, just like when you fly, you look where the exit row is. Nowhere to go for severe weather at home, work and school. And then tell your friends and family. Maybe they haven't been uh, keeping apprised of the situation. Say, hey, they're talking about potentially some stronger storms maybe on Saturday in eastern Iowa. So that's that's how we handle that for family preparedness. Right now we got rain to the north. Other than that, it's cloud cover across the state, but there's plenty of rain ahead. We'll be dry for a good half of the day on Friday, maybe even longer. But by the late afternoon, Rain moves on in. One round moves north. There'll be some more rain Saturday morning with some thunderstorms. Then a dry punch may move on in and we'll get some more storms. Some of these could be stronger. Then the system winds up. Might get some snow mixing in in northern Iowa. Not expecting any accumulations. It pulls out. One thing the system will do is generate a lot of wind and potentially a lot of rain for some spots. I think it'll be a soaker out there. Some locations getting over an inch. Probably the best chance for that for the metro up in through a northern Iowa based on the, the latest projection. Now, severe weather outlook for Saturday. This area in green is a marginal risk catching Jasper, Powasheet County, a slight risk in eastern Iowa. Based on what I've been seeing, I think maybe this will get pushed a bit to the west, so we'll keep an eye on Saturday. Tonight, 44 degrees, clouds on the increase, cooling off, but not a bad night out there. Tomorrow, temperatures in the 50s, dry for your morning, and then the rain moves in during the afternoon hour. Town to town, that high temperature in Ames, 53, winter set. Uh, late afternoon showers, 51 degrees. Those showers moving from Bedford up into Guthrie Center. They'll take a bit longer to get up into northern Iowa, 52 in Rockwell City. Temperatures tomorrow in Hampton, 54. Again, moving in from the south that rain and the best chance for thunderstorms will be in southeastern Iowa, late Albia and Centerville. Eight day forecast, wind warm Saturday, 68. I think a couple rounds of thunderstorms with maybe a dry period in between, windy on Sunday, and then look at the trend. Finally, it looks like we'll dry out with 50s and 60s.